Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be talking about this moment when the narcissist reveals their true self. Please give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Click all notifications so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. And one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions are available which you can book through my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This is when a narcissist reveals their true self. There are certain moments when a narcissist will reveal who they really are. And this will often be when you are making life-changing decisions with them. Sometimes it could just be when you've moved in together. It could be when you've bought a house or even when you're just sharing a home and you're under the same roof. Because then you've got nowhere else to go. So then they feel like they own you. They feel like your house is theirs and they can tell you what to do because now they feel like they're in control of you. So they will set the rules, which means they won't feel like they have to be nice to you anymore. Because whether you moved in with them or well, they moved in with you. In their minds, it's still their space. When you no longer have the ability to just get rid of them, that is when their mask comes off. And they will reveal to you that they feel like they own you because they know you're going to be trapped with them for a certain amount of time. And if you try to kick them out, they will try to make you feel guilty especially if they've moved long distance to be with you because then they have nowhere else to go. So then they know they can treat you however they choose to and there's nothing you can do. Because if even at this point they've still managed to keep their mask on, it will come off once you set a boundary. Because that is the easiest way to get their mask to come off. If you say no to a narcissist, they will get mad before they even give you a chance to explain it because it's just all about them. They lack empathy, which means that if you say or do anything that doesn't revolve around them, they will try to persuade or convince you to not have that boundary. They will become very pushy and dishonest and they will try to convince you of their potential or worth to get you to give up on your moral standards. They want to violate your boundaries because they have no respect for your peace, privacy or rights, which is why they will intrude, encroach, impinge and obtrude and act against your agreements or principles. They will try to talk you out of a no and into a yes. And they may even try to break you in a non-sexual way but some of them will even take it so far as to do it in a sexual way as well because they have no respect for people, laws, property or customs. They will take things away from you, interfere with your affairs or ignore your rights or privacy in an unfair or illegal way because they don't care about who you choose to be. Even though you have the power and authority in controlling your own life and in claiming your rights and you feel a moral responsibility to do things carefully and to be fair to other people. But by trying to convince you out of your no or by coercing you into doing something you don't want to do, they have revealed themselves. Which is how saying no or setting a boundary is the easiest way to get their mask to come off. And if they violated a boundary once, they're going to do it again. The odd behavior that you see at the beginning will only get worse. The relationship isn't going to get better. And you will soon see that they don't act how they said they were going to act or how they said you were going to be together or the promises they said they were going to fulfill, which is a giant red flag. And soon after you marry a narcissist, 
they will become very jealous, possessive and controlling. They will view you as their possession. Now they won't want you interacting with other people. They may not openly say that to you, but the more involved you are with a narcissist, the more jealous they become until they gradually begin to isolate you because they want all the focus to be on them. And that's what narcissism is. So they want everything to revolve around them, even while they're taking you for granted and they're not being faithful because they've already locked you in. So they see it as though they've conquered you because now you're under their control. So they've successfully achieved their task and they have no need for anything more. They get comfortable and then they reveal their true self. But sometimes they will reveal their true self on the night of the marriage. They will show an immediate change. The honeymoon will be awful and then it will go off the tracks within the first year. Because narcissists are only good at the game of pursuing. They're masters at hunting, capturing and wooing their targets. But they're not good at life with another person. They're addicted to the chase. But once they've got them, they don't want them. Initially, they don't want anyone but you. But once they've secured you, they want anyone but you. Which is why you may notice the biggest changes in a narcissist after marriage. And sometimes it will be an immediate change. Where they will become more demanding and attention seeking. And they may even start to belittle you. And it will happen really fast. Because they want you to see yourself as less important. They want you to obey them unquestioningly. Because they viewed you as a means to an end. As something that will help them to achieve something else. But not something that is important in itself. And it's why they will govern and control you. Because they really don't care about who you are. They just care about what you're going to be to them. Which is not how a marriage is supposed to be. It's meant to be about two partners experiencing life together. But when you marry a narcissist, you will see the mask come off. To where it then becomes all about them. And they will bring you down off the pedestal. They will put you beneath them so that they can feel better about themselves. And they will reveal their true self even more when there is a pregnancy involved whether you're dealing with a male or female narcissist and especially close to the birth they will reveal their true selves they will become disconnected from you they will stop love loving you and they will devalue you they will treat you very differently once a baby is involved their mask will come off and then you will see who they really are because they know they've got you now. They know it's more difficult for you to let them go. It's more difficult for you to get rid of them. So now they feel more comfortable. They feel like they can be themselves, which means that they will treat you differently because now you can't get rid of them. You have to deal with them now so they don't have to love bomb you anymore because they've already achieved their goal. Which is why sometimes they will even trap you with a baby to make it difficult for you to leave. Because they know that it's only a matter of time until their mask comes off. And as soon as they've trapped you, that is when their mask comes off. So there doesn't always have to be a baby involved. But if, if, if there is a baby involved, there's also a high chance of cheating. And this could occur before or after the birth. Because a narcissist is not going to be focused on you when they're pregnant or when you're pregnant. They're not going to be getting what they want. So they're going to get it from someone else. Because they're only going to support you if they're getting what they want. And if they're not, they're just going to go and do what they want to do. And the more children you have with a narcissist, the worse it's going to get. Because then all of the attention is being taken off the narcissist and it's being given to all of the children. So the narcissist will begin to get really jealous 
and they may even triangulate you with the children or triangulate the children with each other. They will devalue one child and idealize another to make themselves feel better about themselves until it all becomes really chaotic. And then even some of the children may become narcissistic. So the more involved you become with a narcissist, the worse it gets and the more trapped you become because it just gives them more and more opportunities to reveal their true self. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website, it's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.